Hey, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell to receive notifications. Speaking of bells. But today I will be reviewing 15 hats from seven different brands. Let's get into it. So eventually I will be decorating this wall with something more running specific. This is just a, a bedroom that I have in the, in the new house and I'm excited to finally have my own space, my own office, but also my own space where I can record these videos. So bear with me, something much cooler will be coming on this wall in due time. But you're not here to learn about this. This isn't a vlog, you're here to learn about these running hats. All right, so we're going to talk about 15 hats from seven different brands. I'm going to go through them in price order. All of the hats were sent to me by the companies themselves, except for Buff. I bought this hat and another one that I'll show you with my own money. But all thoughts, opinions, experiences are truly my own. I am not getting paid or compensated or influenced to say anything. So starting with the cheapest hat, that would be buff the five panel go cap this has been a favorite hat of mine it's one of the original ones that i bought i like it because the bill is fairly flexible you can see that there the material is pretty soft four way slight four way stretch uh, making it very comfortable and then you have a really nice uh, i would say a medium thickness sweat band there that does a, a really good job at wicking away moisture one of the other things that i really like about the buff hats are the back here the material the strap is very stretchy but the way that this is designed it doesn't work with a huge range of heads although if you have an average head it should work just fine so i wouldn't worry too much about the uh, strap there so basically you, you pull on this here to tighten it, um, it but you only have limited range of, of actual motion to tighten the hat down but like I said, this has been a favorite hat of mine. You can get it in this current colorway. You can also get it in a blue, gray, and orange colorway, which is really cool. And the hat only costs $24. So not too bad, making it definitely one of the better valued hats at that lower price range. So Buff, hats off to you. Next up, we have Path Projects. This is the Merc cap. It retails for $30. I really like this hat. For its uh, simplicity, you can see that it's got these holes on the top with help, which help with ventilation. In total, you are getting 94 two millimeter holes. Back strap is Velcro, so you can fit a wide variety of head sizes. The bill is fairly flexible and is made of an EVA material. Um, again, all in all for $30, this is a great hat. And I'm going to give the Mercap by Path Projects the award of best value if you like black, gray, and navy colorways. All right, moving on to the next set of hats by Runner. That's R-N-N-R. -N -N -R. I actually received four hats from them, and I'm going to start with the Unicorn. This is their distance hat in the Unicorn colorway. Uh, I really like this hat. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's very comfortable. This one comes in at $36 has a very breathable mesh side that you can see there. And the bill is fairly flexible, probably a little more flexible than the Path Projects. I'm gonna share some more thoughts on this hat here in a minute. The next hat that we have from Runner is another distance hat, the Charcool. Charcool is actually a white hat. You can see it's got the same ventilated mesh sides. The upper material is um, maybe a little thicker than what I would want, but it is fairly breathable and the sweatband, just like with the Unicorn, the sweatband is also very effective. On the runner hats, the sweatband, I would say is a medium thickness. It's not the thinnest, it's not the most thick, uh, but it does a really good job at wicking away sweat and moisture from your head. It also features a flexible bill. Now another fun hat from runner is the Party Pace. This particular hat comes in at $38 has a stretch band on the side where the back is. Just on the one side here, you can see a little clip, and then you can adjust it right here. Sorry, this hat is actually named the Pacer Hat, and it's the Party Pace colorway. So the Pacer Hat, like I mentioned, comes in at $38, has a 
fairly flexible bill. And as you can see, one of the unique factors of this hat is all of these holes across the entire part of the hat. So that's gonna help breathe quite a bit and it does a great job. You could feel the, the wind and the air um, through the hat, helping you to stay cool. I like this hat quite a bit. And lastly from Runner, we have the Streaker hat. The Streaker hat, appropriately named, has this mesh material across the entire part of the hat. This hat breathes extremely well. The bill is fairly flexible. You have a nice medium thickness sweat band, does a very good job at wicking away sweat. And of course, the award for most breathable hat has to go to the Runner Streaker hat. This particular model is called the Trail Bait at the colorway, and it retails for $34. Not too bad, Runner. All right, moving on, we have hats from Boco. Boco is a local company to me based out of Boulder, Colorado. First up, we've got the Endurance hat, which also features, similar to the uh, runner hats, that very breathable mesh on the sides. The material is soft and very lightweight. Um, in fact, this hat is the, the lightest weight of the bunch. The bill is not too thick. It's extremely flexible. The moisture wicking band is also a little thinner. It's still extremely effective and, and feels soft. It does a great job at wicking away moisture, but because it's a little thinner, it makes the overall hat that much more uh, lightweight. The other cool thing about this hat um, is if you're going up a hill or you need to see a little bit better without the visor down uh, across the front of your face, you can pop it up and it'll stay up so that you can see where you're going and then pop it back down, continue on your run. But again, this is a very lightweight, very flexible hat, very nice to, to run in. I also like that they include a stretchy band on the back so that it adapts to your head but still feels secure while it's on. So again, this is the Boko Endurance Hat Ventilator Mesh in the Explore More colorway. And this retails for $32. Up next from Boko, we have the Trail Hat in the All of the Trails colorway. This retails between $36 to $38, depending on what colorway you go with. This particular model is $38. It also has a stretch band on the back. Very nice Boko has a somewhat, somewhat flexible bill. Um, and the unique thing about this hat is that the bill, it's, it's stiffer across the very front where my fingers are running, but here in the middle, it's quite a bit more flexible, which actually makes the hat quite a bit more comfortable where it would press up against your, your head. So I, I liked it for that factor. The material is also fairly soft, uh, somewhat breathable on top, but you do have a more breathable mesh here on the side, um, which is very soft. On the inside, you have that thin wicking band, which is also, again, very comfortable, does a great job at wicking away that moisture. All in all, this is a great hat. I recommend it, very comfortable. And at $36 to $38, can't really go too wrong with that. And then lastly, from Boco, we have the Technical Camp Hat with laser cut ventilation in the Sea Drift colorway. This retails for $38. Um, and as of this recording, this is the only colorway that this hat comes in. It also features a stretch band on the back, making it comfortable to wear. The bill is a little bit stiffer, um, actually quite a bit stiffer uh, there, but that also means that the bill is gonna hold its form, making this hat great for both trail running, road running, but also casual use. So this is a very good uh, athleisure wear type of hat, but it's comfortable enough and does a really good job at wicking away moisture, just like the rest of the Boko hats, so that you can use it effectively on the trails or on the road, no problem. So those are all the hats from Boko that I have. Next up, we have hats from Fractal, an Australian company. So this is the Midnight 2.0 hat from Fractal. It retails for $40, and one of the cool things about this hat is its reflective elements. So all of the piping along the, the top of the hat here, as well as the side of the hat is reflected. And they've actually got a couple different colorways of this hat. This one, of course, is all black. Like some of the other hats, features a stretch band, but in this case, the stretch band across the back here is stretchy on both sides, making this hat very comfortable. They also seem to use materials that are just a little bit softer than the previous uh, hats that I've shared with you. The upper material here 
very soft, more breathable, uh, somewhat stretchy, and that breathable mesh is across the entire upper of the hat. Next up, we have the Eclipse. This has been one of my favorite hats to wear. It also retails for $40 and features the same uh, qualities that, you find, that you'll find with most of the fractal hats. You've got that stretch band across the, t the back. You've got a breathable mesh material across the entire top here. And one thing that is unique with all of the fractal hats is the sweatband. It's a little thicker than the hats that I've shared with you previously. Um, it doesn't ever get hot or sweaty, uh, but because that sweatband is a little thicker, uh, it's gonna uh, absorb, if you're a heavy sweater, it's gonna absorb a lot more sweat. The bill is fairly flexible, uh, keeping it also very comfortable. And lastly from Fractal, we have the bright side. This also retails for $40 and comes in this very cool black and neon yellow colorway, uh, helping you to stay seen. It has a similar Similarly to the Eclipse hat, the top has that uh, mesh material, again, soft, very comfortable across the, uh, the top of the head, but the side has more of a, a different breathable uh, uh, mesh material there. And then of course you have that medium thickness sweatband that does a, a phenomenal job at wicking away that moisture and stretchable uh, strap across the back. The bill also has a medium flex feel to it. Now to wrap up all of the Fractal hats, I would give them the award of most color options. They have a lot of really cool designs that you can check out on their website. Links will all be provided to each of these hats and the brands themselves down below in the, in the description. So moving on from Fractal, we have CL, a French company. I'm sure you've heard of them before. We have the RD Cap SC. C-Speed Ursa colorway. Oh wait, that's not this one. That's this one here. Now this hat retails for $50. It has an adjustable strap on the back like all the hats, but it's not stretchy on, uh, on the back there. Now, be, even though it's not stretchy, I did find this hat to still be very comfortable wear. I enjoyed wearing it and there was never any discomfort issues whatsoever. Now, the interesting thing about the CL hats is I would say that their fabric choices are probably among the best out of the bunch. You pay a little more for that. Like I said, this is $50. Uh, the other hat that I'll get to in just a minute is also $50 from CL, but their fabrics just seem to be more premium. Uh, they're soft. They're even softer than any of the other hats that I've mentioned. They're a little bit thinner, offering better breathability. This particular hat also has a unique, uh, very, uh, a very unique mesh side here, that dark blue color here. It's just very breathable. It's very comfortable, stretchy. It just adapts to the head very well. The sweatband is a medium to thin thickness, but is very effective in wicking away that moisture. And the bill is a medium stiffness, keeping it somewhat flexible, but comfortable. I'm gonna award CL with the best fabric choices award. And then here we have the Go Cap Stacked Element Colorway. Again, retails for $50, has identi uh, nearly identical specs as the C-Speed Ursa hat that we just looked at, but it's got a slightly different design and just the way that the, the hat all came together. Great choice of materials across the top, as I'd mentioned before, very breathable mesh material across the entire top here. And then the sides, you've got that nice medium thin thickness sweatband. Um, you know, when it comes to fit and finish, I would say CL really has it narrowed in. Uh, they really know what they're doing when it comes to um, hats, at least from my experience. Medium stiffness on that bill, again, keeping it very comfortable. I've enjoyed the seal hats a lot, but at $50, you know, you're starting to get up there in the price range. Lastly, we have the most expensive hat by Melon. This is the Pace Hydro hat. Now, this hat intrigued me quite a bit. So, uh, this hat retails for $69. This hat being the most expensive, I expected a lot from it. And I would say that Melon has done a phenomenal job at really thinking through what the user wants in a hat. I would actually award this hat as the best athleisure water hat. And the reason why I say that is because the bill here has an additional 
layer or insert of foam that is going to allow the hat to float on water. Um, now, when it comes to the overall quality of the hat for runners, they've done a good job at putting it together. It is top quality material. Um, it is manufactured to very precise specs. It, I mean, it just really came together well, but again, as a runner's hat, it's pretty expensive. And I don't know if I would recommend it specifically for running. Uh, again, for athleisure wear and for uh, a hat that you're looking to take out on the water, boating, skiing, that kind of stuff, this is probably one of the best hats that you can buy for that purpose. The sweatband is a little thicker, um, similar to the fractal hats, and does a great job at wicking away moisture. The material is somewhat stretchy. It feels good. You got uh, some ven ventilated mesh along the side here, helping to keep you cool. Uh, the band across the back is stretchy on one side, which is nice. And you have a medium flex bill. Now, the other thing that's kind of unique about this hat is they put in a silicone or rubber uh, across the front, right across through here, uh, which is said to help keep sweat from dripping down into your eyes. In theory, I think that's a good idea, but in practice, I just don't think it's necessary. I would rather have this removed and just let the sweatband absorb my sweat. So kind of a cool hat, but also the most expensive of the bunch. High quality, uh, very well put together, good choice of materials, but at $69, you might be better off with something else, at least for a runner. Okay, so now the question that you're probably wondering, which hat did I enjoy the most? That award is gonna have to go to the runner distance hat in the unicorn colorway. For whatever reason, I just kept gravitating towards this hat specifically. I ran in every single one of the hats and I actually like all of them, I truly do. But I think that this hat at $36 prices it competitively. And as I'd mentioned, it just seemed to be the hat that I kept reaching for and wanting to run with. I found it to be very comfortable. I found it to keep me cool and wick away moisture effectively. And you know what? The colors I like a lot. Other than the runner, again, that's R N N R hats, I would say runner up is definitely gonna be both Boko and then right behind Boko is Fractal. I liked Fractal hats a lot. Um, I would say they're, they're most closely matched to the CL in quality and material choices. And at 40 bucks, you're getting a pretty good value. Plus they have a lot of really fun colorways available on their website. Now, if you wanna save a few pennies, a few bucks, then Boco is a phenomenal choice as well. They've recently come out with more hats uh, that us consumers can buy. Uh, of course, their business model is based around custom order hats for brands and companies, but they've got a bunch of new hats that you can check out on their website, some different colorways uh, that I, I really like, and I've enjoyed their hats a lot and will definitely continue to use them. And at $32 to $38 for their hats, you're getting a great value, a great buy. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any one of these hats or some of the other hats that the brands might offer. I'd be happy to have a discussion down there and talk about the hats that I've used. And so drop a comment down below. Even if you don't have any questions, I am curious to know, do you run with a hat? And if you do, what have you liked? What have you not liked? And once again, please subscribe to the channel. We'll leave this video off like we always do. Remember to be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. Appreciate you guys being here. Oh, and uh, go get some Taco Bell. You've earned it. See you on the next video.